Welcome to a new week of The Rundown. On this episode, we have the latest on rating modernization and update every sailor needs to know. CNL awarded the Chief of Naval Personnel for work accomplished with Sailor 2025, plus new information on the blended retirement system. To align with the way other services classify its enlisted ratings, the Navy will refer to its enlisted sailors by rank instead of rate. The change was announced Thursday. For example, I will now be addressed as Petty Officer Second Class, or PO2, instead of Mass Communication Specialist Second Class, or MC2. The change was designed to modernize the Navy's career fields, allowing for sailors to learn more skills across career paths and better allow for transitioning those skills to the public when they leave the Navy. Remember, we are sailors first. There's plenty to learn about the change, and you can read our five things you need to know for more insight. Or check out our story on Navy.mil, which addresses why the change was implemented and how it fits into other personal objectives that leadership has. As part of the discussion, CNO and McPond hosted a live stream on Navy.mil and Facebook where they talked with sailors on personal initiatives from CNO's goal line of effort. CNO and McPond discussed the changes to enlisted ratings, additional education opportunities for sailors, and new leadership development plans, to name a few. CNO also detailed his design for maintaining maritime superiority. View CNO and McPond's talk on CNO's homepage and on Navy.mil. It was a busy week for CNO as he came to our command to award the Chief of Naval Personnel with a Meritorious Unit Commendation, or MUC, for work accomplished with Sailor 2025. The unit award was given to sailors and civilians at the command for initiatives that included the Fleet Scholars Education Program, SECNAV's Tour with Industry, SAPR, and the Navy's Physical Readiness Program. N1 service members are authorized to wear the MUC ribbon for services between August 2013 and May 2016. Finally, the Navy is providing sailors new training courses on the blended retirement system before its implementation January 1, 2018. The training is designed to inform sailors on decisions they need to make on the new system. Sailors will be required to complete either the BRS Leaders Training or the BRS Opt-in Training course that will be released early 2017. The Leaders Training course is available to complete now on Joint Knowledge Online and Navy eLearning. In addition, a course for financial and retirement counselors will be available in October to help prepare those who advise sailors for the transition. Check out our story on Navy.mil for more information and links and read NavAdmin 217-16. Well, that's all for this week. For any questions, send us a message at usnpeople at gmail.com. For the Chief of Naval Personnel, I'm PO2 LJ Burleson. Thanks for watching.